With us today is Michelle Kiernozik. She's also known better as Ms. K. She's an occupational therapist and also a registered yoga instructor. She's here with us today with meteorologist Jill Sweat and I, so we can learn a little bit, especially at the start of the school year, so many families can be extra stressed out, Ms. Mm -hmm. K. Yes, it is a stressful time of the year. There's so much thrown at us at once that it gives us all a feeling of overwhelm and it's a perfect opportunity to practice mindfulness. It's as simple as just breathing sometimes. Exactly. Even. Your breath, I say, is the most portable, stress relieving tool that you have because you can use our breath to really regulate our emotions and our arousal state at any time of the day. And you have a breathing lesson for us. This can be really for kids and adults as it well. It could be, yes, and it's so simple. The only two things you'll need are pony beads, which you can find anywhere um, and um, pipe cleaners. So what you'll do is you will tie two circles um, at the ends of the pipe cleaner mm -hmm. and then what you want to do is use your breath to slide one of the beads from one end to the other. So you're going to take a deep inhalation. Maybe you want to practice first by just breathing into the belly as you slide the bead down to one side and then you're going to exhale to match the inhalations. So having this tactile tool allows kids to slow down, it allows them something visual to look at while they're breathing, and it also allows them to slow down. I actually feel more calm than I did at the start of this, <laughs> which is amazing. And I think too, something we forget even as adults is that if we're feeling anxious, if we're feeling like we need to calm down, we can do some breathing. How many of those deep breaths do you recommend if someone is feeling that way? I would recommend about five to 10 deep breaths. Oftentimes our default state is to breathe into our chest. Mm -hmm. So I would first cue any breathing practice with dropping your shoulders mm -hmm. down. So mm -hmm. just that simple cue of, all right, let's drop our shoulders down, let's relax our jaw. That allows our body to relax and it allows our breath to go where it needs to be versus using our accessory muscles that will cause even more tension to our bodies. Now, for me, sometimes the hardest part where I need to practice mindfulness is like at the end of the day, trying yes. to unwind and like go to sleep. And I remember even as a kid, especially like before yeah. the first day of school, before yeah. a test, having that little bit of anxiety. Do you have any recommendations for parents to maybe kind of help to soothe that and not necessarily get them to fall asleep faster, right. but maybe just to calm at the end of the day? So I would recommend it to be part of the bedtime routine. Mm. So before you go to bed, you can practice your breathing tools, practice um, using some tools that you might have at mm -hmm. home. Okay. Um, you can use a weighted eye pillow Ooh. that will just help your body and help your nervous system get to that state of rest and digest so that your body's mm -hmm. ready to go to bed mm -hmm. and your mind is a little more clear so that you're not racing with thoughts, especially sure. <laughs> at the beginning of the school year when there's so many things to do. Now, when it comes to this weighted eye pillow that you just showed us, sure. It appears to be a llama sock, but <laughs> this is a creation that you can actually do at home, Yes, right? so I would recommend a long sock, which I'm sure everyone has at mm -hmm. home. Of course, it would be um, a clean sock that you would use, and you would just <laughs> fill it with either rice or flax seeds. Mm. And then just especially before bed, just placing this over your mm. eyes, it um, stimulates your vagus nerve by just adding that pressure to your eyes in addition to the aromas of the lavender is the perfect recipe for relaxation right before bed. Fantastic. Miss Kay, thank you so much thank for all those tips. Kay. I'm going to take them home with me and me use too. them tonight. I already feel more relaxed. Mm -hmm. I hope all of you out there feel a little more relaxed as well. Where can we find you, Miss Kay, if someone wants to take one of your classes? Sure. So I have a website. It's www.mindfulmisskay.com. You can find me there. Perfect. We'll be right back.